I'm, I'm uncomfortable with the term conceptual artist, but I'm equally uncomfortable with the idea that I'm a photographer. And so I'd just like to talk about the area that I see myself operating in. Um, for a moment, if we could just think about photography as a site of production, uh, a, a site of display, and then a site of distribution even though they're all superimposed on one another. When you're making a photograph, you have something being photographed and you have a camera set up in front of that something. And when you're in an exhibition, you have a picture on the wall and then you have somebody looking at it. And with a book, for example, as it, as it leaves and, and becomes more mobile, you have readers and, and uh, consumers of the book looking at it, which again is, uh, a point, an observer looking at looking at an object. So, I, I think from pretty early on, I had this idea that I wanted to situate my practice within the most conventional type of display um, for, photo, for for photography, meaning individual photographs in black frames with white mats. And um, but let me back up a minute. At each point, what I want to do at each point of that, that diagram of three places is decenter my relationship to it and uh, the spectator's relationship to it and to, to the whole construct. So, so I move around. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to become more mobile within the production of the image. And an image that I had playing with my, my iPhone is this little magnifying bubble that you can move around to enlarge images and words. And I, and I think that's what I do. I, I, instead of being locked behind the camera, I, I move around. So, so I'm often beside the camera, I'm never in front of the camera, I, I, and, and, but I am behind the camera sometimes. But I, but I move around and I'm as much a photographer as I am a picture editor and a graphic designer. Um, and that kind of uh, moving, moving through the conventions, my titles are too long or they're too short, my mats are too big, um, the pictures are a bit low, uh, everything is as it should be but just a, a little bit akimbo and if you come in and you ask why are the pictures so low, then you're asking, you're asking a philosophical question and you're confronting the idea that you think they should be higher. And then the question is, why should they be higher? So, so if you come in and you start asking those questions, you're in my, my area. Because my area isn't just Miko laughing to my right, but also the, the cinder block wall that she's on that happens to be in front of a, a red graphic wall. So, so at the beginning of the show, and also I, I was incredibly uncomfortable with the survey idea or the retrospective idea. And part of it had to do with that it would be looking backward at what I'd done, and I'd never done it in the United States. So what did it mean to bring all of this stuff together when so little of it had been seen in an institutional context here? Um, so I, I didn't like the, the, the monographic quality of it because it became about me in a way and less about soap or apples, which is what I'm interested in. Um, so I, I, I decided to try to change the tenses and I, I, I used the architecture to... Oh, and, and backward looking is, the, is considered the, the, the tense of photography. It's showing you what was. And for me, I'm interested in what is, and that, that what is would be what's in front of you. I'm not interested in the apples in a field outside, in between Dusseldorf <coughs> and Cologne on, on a spring day. Um, I'm interested in the apples here at Roma in front, in front of you. For me, the decisive moment in photography is when you stand before this picture. So I wanted to try to use the installation and architecture to do that. So it's roughly chronological. But because the space is a loop, because there's no back door that you can use, unless there's a fire or an emergency, in which case you should feel free to use the exit door. But this is considered an awkward gallery because you have to leave the way you came. So the show is structured, hopefully, so that it's as interesting going out as when you come in. But that also 
completely shifts the chronological, uh, pornographic aspect of it, or hopefully. But it's also an essay on walls um, and pictures. Um, so right at, at you, you approach the show through the lobby. There, there are vinyl graphics on the walls. On your right, there's a, a, a 